Hello, this is a how-to video on entering your weekly timesheet into your LEAP portal. If you're working in a facility that uses electronic timekeeping, you will need to provide a screenshot of the time reporting by the facility. This may be through Workday Report, Kronos Report, or any other report that the facility uses. Please speak to the facility scheduler to get this report by Sunday each week. If the facility is unable to provide you access with the electronic timekeeping program, you will need to submit a paper timesheet that has the same clock in and clock out times that is on the electronic report. Any discrepancy between your submitted time versus the approved time will delay your paycheck. For facilities that do that do have electronic that do not have electronic record keeping, please complete the paper timesheet provided by TLC Nursing. You can find an electronically fillable timesheet at tlcnursing.com forward slash timesheet. And here's the site. So you go to tlcnursing.com forward slash timesheet and you can fill out your timesheet right here. Put your name, first name, last name, email, facility name, recruiter, and then your hours. So completing this will give you a PDF of that, or you can click on the other one that will open up to a PDF, to a printable timesheet. So again, this will, completing this form that you see that I'm scrolling will provide you with a PDF version of the weekly timesheet. Or if you just want to print out the timesheet and the LEAP instructions, you just click on the link that's below and that will give you the weekly timesheet for TLC and the LEAP portal instructions. Okay, so we will start with the LEAP portal. So you log in into your LEAP portal and then Most, it will bring you to your profile status. And if it's not complete, please take a minute to complete it. We go into your menu there, go to timesheet. You want to select the week that you are entering time for. So I'm entering time for 1216 to 22. So as you can see, this is showing that I've already uploaded that document, which means that I've already completed that week's timesheet. So I'll go to the next week. And search. So for that week, I haven't completed it. So let's go back to the previous week and see what happened there. Search. As you can see, there's times that have, have been already entered, but there's no timesheet that was uploaded. So there was an error in this week. So I am going to fix it to make sure that you always need to make sure that the uploaded document is green and your time hours entered are there. So I'm going to take a screen sh uh, photo of my timesheet. So as you can see, this is a timesheet that ha I filled out using the fillable form and I printed it. I'm going to use that. I'm going to upload. And that turns into green. So until that turns green, the timesheet has not been uploaded. I've already entered, started entering some hours in. So let's go into Thursday, 120. I work from 0, 0330 p.m. to 7. 30 p. 
Yeah. Best practice is for you to enter your hours every day on a daily basis so that you are capturing your hours correctly and it also allows you to have access to daily pay through Pay Active. If you are not entering your hours in daily, then you will not be able to get your daily pay through Pay Active. Okay, so this is another interesting one because I worked 16 and a half hours that day, but I took two lunch. So how do we go about doing that? So what we will need to do is do 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And lunch out. Done. 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. Okay, and then I add. So I added another day. So and then I go from 0, 3. PM to eleven thirty PM and then lunch out zero seven PM to zero thirty PM. Okay. Then go up and hit So we added too many days, so I had to take those off, otherwise it wouldn't save. Save again. And then another best practice is for you to do a screen capture. So I'm just going to click that, do a screen capture. And then that way it shows that the time that you've uploaded everything. And then it's just there for your record. And also, I do it so that I can keep a copy of it just in case if there's an issue. Hope this was helpful. And please make sure that you're submitting your timesheets by 11 p.m. every Sunday.